scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Visit me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Visit me tonight. Hand over to me tonight the scepter of dominion. Visit me tonight. 
tonight my heart is open pray everywhere inside outside those following online Shabragato kasala barato shabria da gadabos and the keto ko sala baraka ta fras kada balanda karya da baka shabra de ke gadabos Shabra ko zezika ta bos em prakato kala fras kada baryanda kada fras kada balako shere Prayer point number two. Lord, the rod, you see, when God called Moses, there are three things that symbolize dominion. One, the crown. Two, the ring. Three, the scepter. Whoever possesses the crown, the ring, the scepter, is authorized to dominate. I'd like you to pray be serious tonight and say father hand me that scepter that scepter shabantos kalebrakata hand over to me that scepter that scepter of grace and dominion are we praying scepter we are instructed he said rule thou rule thou he didn't say discuss rule thou in the midst of your enemies i like you to pray and say every mountain that stands before me tonight a scepter is given to me i rule i rule over financial limitations i rule over sicknesses I rule over witchcraft. My doors cannot I have been mandated to walk in dominion. It's an instruction I must obey. It's an 
instruction I must obey. I have been mandated. Mandated to dominate. Rule down in the midst of obstacles. Rule down in the midst of limitations. Rule down in the midst of darkness. Don't be tired. I enlarge my spirit. I enlarge my capacity. Rule down in the midst of darkness. Mighty in my life. of the living God, I pray that tonight will be a night of strange impartations. I pray tonight that scepters, mantles, those who have let their scepters fall will pick it back again and with it they will do mighty things. You have authorized this series. Lord, we decree and declare that that mandates to dominate must begin to speak in our lives over situations over circumstances over the vicissitudes of life we arise hallelujah praise the lord david dam said something when he came to collect them um, to take the testimonies he said that or when he came to you know lead the worship he said it's one thing to hear the word but it's another thing to become that experience this is what we are trusting god i i prayed with all my heart and i said god it's a total waste of this series if at the end of it we do not command strange dominion in our lives i tell you the truth we would have wasted our time and made God look like a liar it will be a total waste of time just a lecture a theological dissertation if at the end of this time somebody cannot turn and look at what used to make you run and turn back and say I'm not running again something has been given in my hand one more prayer and then you sit down I cause fear the fear that stops me to, from rising I decree and declare that tonight I will face my fears. Lift your voice and pray. I will face it. No more running away. No more running away. Grace is supplied tonight. I will face my fears and challenge it until I defeat it. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Fear keeps you in bondage. Fear of failure. Fear of death. Fear of weaknesses. Fear of limitations. Fear of the past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated if you can. I want your spirit to be very sensitive tonight when I was praying for this meeting all that I saw was this handing of scepters that's why you heard me talking about it that there are three things that make a king any animal can claim to be the king of the jungle but the jungle itself knows who the king is an elephant because of his size can think he's the king of the jungle a giraffe can think he's the king of the jungle but when the lion roars hear me when the lion roars 
we were furnished after the order of the lion i came angry tonight in my spirit there is a time to laugh and joke but there is a time to take your destiny and say no way that door must open hallelujah hear me nothing works by itself you have to learn this nothing works by itself there are doors in our lives and destinies that we must force them to open otherwise they will never open hallelujah we've been looking at the dominion mandate tonight is the last part of the series part three part one we looked at the original plan god's original agenda his his plans can change but his purposes are eternal his purposes mean his intentions his plan means the methodology his approach his approach alters because he needs man to work with him and many times man will not cooperate adequately so he will have to invent another strategy but his purposes are eternal and then last week we looked at discipleship the second dimension of dominion training for reigning the spiritual system allocated to the saints that helps them that equips them i told us that man was created in the image and the likeness of god the image of man talks about the spiritual quality of god deposited in man the capacity to be supernatural the capacity to be divine the capacity to interact with both realms that you are both spiritual as much as natural hallelujah and then we shared a few things how that the bible says that it is they who have received the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace they are the ones who are authorized to reign in life we looked at discipleship as the spiritual system that initiates men to understand the principles of god are we together now that the image of christ and his likeness his likeness talks about his functionality and i spoke to us about the god of systems how that the order of god's progression is that he creates a template a model of a thing and then designs systems around it for continuity god's pattern for continuity is to design systems around things and it is still true today there is nothing that continues when you do not design a system around it god created man once woman once and never had to do it again and there are 7.2 billion people who are alive aside from those who have died because he planted a system are we together now he watered the garden and put plants once and he deposited a system in the plants for continuity so we must be trained i made a statement that promise reiterated in this kingdom who trains you and how you are trained can make the difference in your manifesting dominion it matters that you are trained and it matters who trains you and how you are trained because many of us have been victims of zeal that has been abused as a result of ignorance or lack of training so we largely guess our way so part one was the original plan part two is the system of equipping discipleship we call it and part three is governance we are looking at governance tonight how kings reign that's what we are going to be discussing tonight there is a way kings reign the system of governance our dominion is delegated our dominion is not absolute dominion you have to take note of this absolute dominion means you are sovereign in your decisions unsupervised man was not given absolute dominion he was given delegated dominion we call it theologically speaking shared dominion that mystery is what was shown in the sun and the moon the moon also gives light but the moon's light is shared it does not have illumination of itself so the price of the moon is to align to the sun and then it reflects back to the earth the light of the sun so our dominion is shared dominion our dominion is delegated dominion 
are we together authority comes from the greek word exousia the capacity to stand in the office of a man not necessarily in his absence but he steps out and allows you or he builds a branch of his influence and puts you in charge that's dominion the pastor for instance of let's say redeemed zaria is the head of that parish but that authority is delegated are we together because there is still a headquarters and he receives order but as far as that jurisdiction the jurisdiction of zaria is concerned every activity that happens within that jurisdiction is left to that person everybody say governance governance talks about execution governance talks about legislature creating or enforcing laws hallelujah most christians never ever walk in dominion david be ready to sing this song for me he's playing very powerful song are we together that there is a system with which the saints reign I hope you know that in the garden of eden there were no apostles there were no prophets there were no teachers there were no churches there were no um what do we call it conferences i told us in part one how that redemption was a restoration process to restore us back but for many believers who are walking on the earth like fugitives like vagabonds hoping that the trumpet will announce our rest let me tell you something it is a very unfruitful way of living the scope of christianity for an average believer is being in christ and walking in a lifetime of doubt and fear wondering whether you will make heaven or not and trusting the sound of a trumpet to prove if you disappear then you are glad you made it a victorious god would not design such a poor system even men with our limited understanding we have designed intelligent systems god cannot design such a foolish system and keep a man 80 years on earth and the only reason why that man was on earth was to born to be born hand his life to christ and wait until the day he goes to heaven heaven is real heaven is true but let me tell you something god's ultimate goal is not just to go to heaven we are returning god's ultimate goal is to be able to satisfy the fullness of his eternal counsel are we together and this will happen when we fulfill the dominion mandate the mandate to take control to take charge of earth god is always interested in earth notice that everything that has happened in the bible even every time heaven was mentioned it was with respect to earth there's something god wants to be fulfilled here and we are the ones mandated to make it happen governance the bible says the heavens even the heaven of heavens is an ancient word that qualifies like you say daughter of daughters son of sons the heaven of heavens listen belongs to god but he says the earth still part of his kingdom but he has allocated to the sons of men in other words listen carefully brothers and sisters the chaos that is happening in the earth is not the will of god the sicknesses the poverty are we together now the the ugly manifestation of darkness the failures that come to the life of people the spiritual bankruptcy within the nations is a proof that the saints have largely not come into the fullness of god's expectation as far as kingdom governance is concerned now in the earth when we vote a governor or a counselor or whatever kind of political leader we look forward to seeing changes within that that socioeconomic system when we see roads being built hospitals rehabilitated schools rehabilitated we now turn back to the person and we say you have done a good job and then we do our best to make sure we give him another tenure but in a situation where under the watch of that person 
several things go bad we turn back to the person and say you are this is poor legislature this is poor execution it's a sign that you are not serious and you are not qualified for that office that's why i said god is re-handing over scepters to men many of us do not understand what this means dominion has evidences the order and the dexterity that is around your life is a sign that you are alive the bible says something very interesting when you read um psalm 8 and then you go to hebrew chapter 2 um don't turn there i will give us the verses later on but he was speaking about paul was making reference to the psalm of david and he says what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him he says you have made him a little lower than elohim crowned him with glory and you know power and you have set him over the works of your hands now listen and he says in doing so you did not leave anything there was absolutely nothing that includes hiv listen carefully that includes other sicknesses that have not yet been fabricated by the gate of hell that are still coming i hope you know that there are still plagues coming plagues that will make hiv look like malaria hell enlarging itself raising an assault against the saints but jesus said i will build my church and i will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell shall not prevail governance so i'm going to be teaching us how kings reign and god's system of governance will be very fast because i want us to pray we trust god for a supply of great grace tonight in the name of jesus genesis chapter one the book of the beginnings are you ready david sing that song for us while we powerful song for those of you coming here for the first time this is koinonia a habitation that is absolutely conducive for the holy spirit and this is one of the reasons because we allow him to minister and edify the people
Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 now I want to show you the system of shared dominion we see it here are we together and God said read the next two words one to go let us I'll tell you what else to read make man in our own image after our likeness and then the next two words so we see let us let them let us let them there is a dimension of access we need there is a dimension of access they need so it is partnership are we together now kings reign in this kingdom through shared dominion let us there is a dimension of sovereignty that is exclusive to the office of the godhead let us there is a portion of governance that is allocated and restricted to god's sovereign power and wisdom the saints can never tap into that dimension any act and any desire to want to tap into that dimension will be the same thing that lucifer did let us that's the first revelation i wanted to have tonight that there is a jurisdiction of kingdom governance that is exclusively exclusively manifested by the godhead the saints have not been apportioned that dimension so you need to understand that there is a restriction to our dominion and we must understand the jurisdiction of governance that's why it is delegated let us when it has to do with making man listen carefully no man can make man it takes god to make men let us when it comes to governance and executing that mandate man can do it but let us man cannot make man so let us make man who makes men in this kingdom talk to me please the word make man there does just, just mean create man it means to cause an effect in man god can make men successful god can make men victorious the making of men is exclusively the office of god paul may plant listen i'm teaching you how kings reign paul may plant apollos may water but the making of joshua selman is only in the office of christ this is good news for you because the person who said you will never make it is a joke find out whose office is responsible for making men let us make men man can try to clone men but he cannot put the image of god in men let us please keep it there make men let us create a kingdom of kings let us use the infinite potential that is resident within us that even the angels have searched for ages in wonder let us use that multifaceted dimension of our wisdom to make this entity and let us make it in such a way that he will be in our image and after our likeness and then when we make him in our image and our likeness our job ends now let them who have been made in our image and our likeness have dominion let us transfer governance to them and allocate a jurisdiction your jurisdiction of governance starts from the second heavens the saints cannot govern in the first heaven heaven is controlled exclusively by the godhead read your bible nobody in the first heaven the heaven of heaven where god dwells has any authority or any power to give any kind of legislature christ himself is the light of that city if at any time you are given any instructions or authorizing anything in the heaven of heavens you are a rebel the jurisdiction of governance for the saints start in the second heavens that's where demon spirits start because they know that this is where our jurisdiction starts so they move around in the heavenlies but not just the heavenlies where god is so the archangels and all of them only obey instructions they don't invent instructions what rules heaven is not ideas is instructions 
why on earth we are allowed to manifest creativity in heaven there is creativity but it's not a derivative of the individual no 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 the creativity is exclusively god's will and then whatever you are allocated you obey it as an instruction let them let us make them then they have dominion over the fish of the sea now you may think that he's just mentioning water air he's mentioning jurisdictions these are territories with spiritual implications the first he says the fish of the sea usually he will use a creature that resides within that habitat and uses it as a template that means that man should have dominion over the sea that means no manipulation that has to do with water as an element of the supernatural should have expression is a mandate let him have dominion it's not about fish it's about the sea because you see the sea is not just a place of fish the sea is where the mystery of abundance comes abundance is tied to the sea let them have dominion mm. read for me verse 20 and 21 20 and 21 please let me show you something about water read are you a christian we are reading 20 and 21 ready and God said stop where did the creatures come out from read your Bible where did they come out of are you seeing that now let the waters bring forth abundance the moving creature that had life and the fowl that may what so the birds came out of where That may fly above the earth in an open firmament of heaven in case you thought it was just a mistake of translation let's read 21 one to go uh-huh which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after listen this is the reason why every shrine every native doctor evil is always associated with water when jesus was going to the other side the sea started getting boisterous jesus understood the dynamics they thought it was just a storm jesus smiled and said be still be still as soon as he went over a madman was waiting there full of demons and said jesus you have come I give you dominion dominion over the sea and the mysteries that are hidden there let's go back to 26 and then the fowl of the air the air is a territory is a habitat that requires an execution of dominion it was Solomon in his wisdom that said when men speak there are invisible birds that carry their words is it in your Bible? <laughs> I want a child. And that word is transported to a region where it should not be. And you sleep in the night and a stranger comes because someone invited him. And comes to sleep with you and all of a sudden the pregnancy is lost. The power. The air is so important. Satan said demons you can rule anywhere but me I want to. Many of you think Satan is down. This air is where mysteries happen. Whoever takes control of the spiritual climate, the air, the physical atmosphere. You will be so blessed tonight. I want to open your eyes to certain things. There is a way kings reign. It's not just by speaking. I will never be this calm down. Just let's take it easy. And you will understand that most of what we are doing is called vain babbling. We talk and think that because we are mentioning right words. Uh -uh. And over what is the third territory 
the earth the earth this ground you see is a deep ancient mystery everybody listen carefully this earth you see is not just sand what kind of entity is it that you can dig a hole throw corn close it back no battery no electricity it starts coming with roots tied to it and you no longer can remove the tree again when humans die we don't leave them in the sky we plant them in the earth the tallest building in the world has a point of contact with the earth every human being alive the earth is a universal point of contact every human being makes contact with this earth and he gave us dominion and then over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and the bible says let them have dominion that means listen genesis 1 26 is not an is not a suggestion it's not an advice it's not one of those communications in scripture where the bible say i said before you this and that it was a decree a divine decree by the godhead he said this man we have made let them have dominion in other words we transfer the governance of this territory from the day god said let them have dominion he relinquished direct control over the earth and the heavenlies he restricted himself to the first heavens listen this is the mystery behind God needing men so helplessly that you see sometimes God will look like he's he's frustrated because he cannot find a man and sometimes we are tempted to ask God are you not mighty are you not so mighty can't you just come in and do whatever you have to do and he says no I passed a decree if it was a suggestion it would have been changed when kings pass decrees they don't bend to it it is stamped it is sealed let them have dominion over territories let them have dominion i have allocated spheres of influence and according to revelation chapter 5 verse 10 as we have read in previous series um, um, parts of the series how that we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we have been mandated to reign to reign to reign i want you to get that word dominion is not bragging dominion is legislature dominion is governance dominion is managing the earth on behalf of heaven forcing the earth to reflect the glory the character the power the possibilities of god and part of the system of management includes some of the things that i'm going to be showing you are you ready let me show you how to have dominion 1 verse 28 and god blessed them and said unto them these are the facets that are contained in dominion number one be fruitful be fruitful there is no dominion without fruitfulness number two multiply that means God's idea is not just that you rule alone. To multiply means that your seed, your seed, your seed must also partake in governance. Not just your physical seed. Your seed is anything that comes out of you. Your ideas. Are we together? Where you subdue territories because you have been able to multiply. Replenish the system of restoration that when things deplete in everyone who loves God and is powerful and understands the dominion mandate there is no such thing as a dry season forever because fabricated and put in man is the ability to replenish replenish meaning that you are you are mandated to turn any desert situation physically and spiritually replenish and then subdue subdue confront the limiting factors confront the resistances and prevail over them that's how you have dominion 
upon every other thing now this looks very simple until i begin to share with you the things that god has put in my heart tonight anybody who does not execute this fourfold mandate any institution that does not execute this fourfold mandate will never never move forward are we together yes there must be a system of continuity replenishing replenishing that's why when satan wants to corrupt this mandate from a family he starts killing all the men in that family he's trying to sabotage the capacity to replenish so that gradually they, he will wipe away from the face of the earth that family and what they represent both spiritually and physically the inability to be productive is a cause many people do not understand that the inability to be fruitful the inability to multiply yourself your results your potentials is limited he made a garden in the east of eden an authorized man that through a system that man will extend that garden all over the earth god never created the whole earth and made it like the, the whole earth was not the garden of eden the garden of eden was a portion and man was kept there to see and acclimatize himself with that environment and be able to tap the resources from eden and now use them to reproduce earth governance entails a number of things we must understand how kings reign in this kingdom because for many of us our concept of governance is usurping authority over men are we together when we say you are in governance even from a kingdom dimension many people's idea is that i have two or three people that answer yes sir to me and once they see that they say wow i am in governance and then i ill treat them in the public to show that i have some kind of superior advantage that is not dominion that is oppression oppression everywhere this template of oppression was told there was rebellion somewhere sometime read it all through scripture pharaoh oppressed the people of god for a long time one day they were tired god too was tired he joined them and together they sank into the red sea and their lives that kingdom that dynasty just went places you do not oppress men oppression is not dominion let me talk about oppression before i talk about this do you know what oppression is oppression is a system of stopping other people from manifesting dominion also it's a dangerous state it's an antichrist spirit oppression including pastors including prophets apostles most people what we call dominion is oppression refusing resources from reaching people to keep them poor is a strategy by the enemy for oppression that's not dominion hiding potentials from people for their minds to be oriented so that they can also be empowered so that you keep them as slaves history is full of wicked kings dictators monarchs and individuals who refuse to supply information that empower people when you rob people of truth in order to keep them loyal it's not dominion it's oppression and we still do it in the modern day today we still do it in churches with all due respect there are men of god whose idea of fatherhood whose idea of mentorship is oppression is witchcraft we take away the liberty of people i don't mean accountability we literally create a theology that makes us own people we own their lives we own their time are you ready for oppression number two unemployment forever is oppression hmm. did you hear what i said unemployment forever for the purpose of salary is a system of oppression i carry your presence everywhere who am i 
Your mind is so full of me Mortal man or sunlight Mortal man or sunlight According to scripture, read your Bible Employment, employment as we know Started with Jacob and Laban Is that true? God would work with people and allow you to serve under a system to learn and to be built. But a time must come. You don't need to have a new platform, but you no longer receive salary. You become a partaker of the blessings of that system. This is God's system. Are we together? But it was Laban that brought this wicked antichrist strategy of being a servant and an employee forever don't i'm not saying you should hate your boss i'm just telling you where this thing came from because jacob came in with the blessing and he began to make laban prosper and laban noticed that this man had something that made him prosper then laban went and used divination spells powers and he found out that there was something on jacob and he said i will leave this guy i will keep tipping him enough to remain with me then one day Jacob asked a question and said, I have served you. When will I now go and have my own house? When will I build my own life? And Laban said, don't ever bring that statement again. Does that sound like employment? I will keep you here. And then later he said, okay, I need a wife. And this guy, look at how wicked he was. When he knew that he was going to get his wife, this man suffered for seven good years. When it was time to have his wife, what happened? They changed them. Is that true? And then kept him again. Look how Jacob suffered like a fool. He was the one who was doing the work. But who was the credit going to? Listen, any system in the world that keeps people as employers forever regardless of their productivity is a cost system i know many people will insult me for what i'm saying that's the reason why people finish working after 40 years and live miserable lives god is a god that starts by helping men serve others and build but eventually they must become partakers of the blessings and the benefits the people, the tribe that does this well are evil people today. You see it? They are using that kingdom system. That's why there is continuity. So they bring in a young boy and he serves for a while. Is that true? And then eventually, they now start telling him, okay, we leave you in the shop. And then one day, there's what we call settling. Am I right, evil people? And that settling, you don't just say, okay, go back to your father's house. No. You are able to bring up something that is strong enough to bless that then him too he will now stand on his own the mandate multiply multiply that's why the jews are exceptional people today notice some of the best firms in the world that's what they do the moment you are, you are working and you get to a level they stop paying you salary your salary becomes in percentage that means they give you an identity within that corporation. You don't necessarily need to have your own corporation. Are you seeing a corruption of the dominion mandate? That's why there are people who never become anything in life because they subscribe to an innocent system that keeps allocating tips to just keep them there. And for as long as they are there forever, you serve somebody for 40 years and live with a bye-bye. That's a cost system. You don't like what you're hearing? You better like it all because this is what is responsible for the decadence in the lives of people. In the name of spiritual fatherhood, I believe in fatherhood, I believe in mentorship. But there are people today who own the ATMs of people. There are pastors who own the ATMs of people. There are pastors who own, they can tell anybody, bring me your car bring me your this oh no come on please oppression is not dominion never confuse oppressing people to oppress people means to take away their right of liberty forcefully to take away their right of even 
um, in, in ancient times, there was a season called Jubilee. Jubilee, F after every seven year, there was a Sabbath. And then after 49 years, seven sets of Sabbaths, the 50th year was declared a year of Jubilee. And at that year, you will release every slave. Not just release them to go, but empower them. No matter what happened to them. But you can empower them. And they can say, you have been a good master for me. I don't want to go. In that case, you will pierce their ears as a sign that they are no longer they are not just servants out of um, um oppression are we together they have become servants willfully born servants there is a lot of oppression in our world and that's why the dominion mandate has suffered even among believers we pride ourselves in oppression so I just needed to balance that straight away so that many of us do not fabricate the idea of oppression to feel I need to go back to my house. Dominion mandate. My wife has not been listening to me. Now that I'm going back, she will know that I have dominion. Where are you? From today, you cook what I eat. That's, that's, that's not it. There are several people from several nations listening and it's, it will be costly to assume. We need to define the concepts here that we are stating. So that people do not oppress people. A man does not go and start beating his child and killing his child and say, I am your father. You must listen to me. Oppression. Everywhere from the Bible and through history where there was oppression, there was a rebellion and a revolt eventually. How do kings reign? How do we execute this dominion mandate? When it comes to execution and legislature, what are the systems? What are the dimensions of dominion? Number one, how do we dominate in this kingdom? The ministry of prayer. Number one, I want to show you how kings legislate. How we dominate the ministry of prayer. Philippians chapter 4, please, 6 and 7. You will not suffer my food to be I carry your presence everywhere Who am I? Your mind is so full of me Mortal man, awesome God Mortal man, awesome God Be careful for nothing the word careful there is not just um, uh, to not play caution. That's not what he's saying. Are we together? It, it, it describes um, the, the resistance that comes as a result of fear, of uncertainty. And he says, be careful for nothing, but in everything. By what? Prayer and supplication. Let your request. The authorized system of presenting your request to the headquarters is prayer not complaining not grumbling grumbling does not call the attention of heaven please listen i know some of us you know we are humans and sometimes we can be confronted by challenges and then we just think by shouting oh god what is this now are you not watching how about god am i not your child that is emotional that is human that is consoling but you have not made your request made. It says, by prayer and supplication, then with thanksgiving. This is the system. The same way when you have a company, if Pastor Alpha has a company now, and say I'm his secretary, he will have to teach me how to present requests to his table. Are we together? There are others you need to write and sign. We need five bags of this. 10 bags of this we need to go on a trip this is the cost and then you put everything and submit it in the ministry here in koinonia there is a system where requests get to my table you don't just walk and say i think i need water no there is a system are we together now the leaders have been trained to understand the system where you pass your request whether as a department whatever it is and the finance department has been trained to respond to those needs only when the system is well complied with so what makes you believe that heaven is haphazard oh god just hear me there is a system are you hearing what i'm saying now 
that every time you need help you don't wish it you don't grumble about it you don't just say pray for me oh prayer band you are going on tuesday abby please when you go tell my sister that i couldn't make it just pray for me let me tell you i'm not against intercession but i'm against laziness spiritually and any other dimension he says by prayer by what prayer is a system of dominion on the earth men who do not pray cannot legislate the authorized system to present your request to heaven is prayer and supplication backed up by thanksgiving as a sign of faith that you did not pray to an animal you pray to an intelligent god seated in the heavens let me tell you something if you don't end your prayer a quality prayer giving thanks you missed out a major portion it's like cooking and forgetting salt and forgetting maggi and say no problem just eat it like that there is a serious problem now you may say the quantity of salt is small but don't put it and see how it alters the taste believers do not pray we live in a time and age where pray for me is the most popular language among believers pray for me prayer department pray for me benga promise pray for me pastor alpha i'm not against uh, maybe a higher anointing helping you but we have lazy people there are all kinds of financial seeds now there is a battle seed you know what a battle seed is that means i don't have the time and the luxury to pray so what happens is that i encourage you with a seed and with that seed you will spend the night praying while i'm sleeping see let's not lie to ourselves here we are christians are we together the bible says let your request you are the one in that fire you are the one who wants to come out let your request know. make it known through prayer the first system of legislature is prayer let's look at first timothy 2 long reading from verse 1 to 8 quickly please first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 and then i'll share a few things about prayer and um i may just give us three or four dimensions of the of dominion then we'll round up tonight first timothy chapter 2 first timothy are we still there media first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 we're reading down to 8 i exhort therefore this is paul now speaking to his son in the gospel timothy that first of all what supplications prayers intercession are you seeing now paul obeying that rule too and giving of thanks be made for what all men prayer is important intercession 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 is not just praying for souls intercession is agreeing with god on behalf of people that certain things still find expression on the earth because of the benefit of that thing even to you as a person read on verse 2 then he says to pray for what kings and for all that are in authority does it look like nigeria is doing this we are not doing it oh we are not praying for kings we are not praying for those in authority we are complaining and we are angry we are saying all kinds of things bringing all kinds of political things i'm teaching you how kings dominate how many workers pray for their bosses there is a reason why god says to pray for your superiors he says and for kings and all that are in what any kind of authority why that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that we including you the person praying there is an effect of their misgovernance on you and so for that sake you have to pray and say lord you i trust you to come in that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty if we do not intercede for leaders we don't intercede for nigeria and for africa you don't intercede for your boss let me tell you something 
listen it's a very serious secret i want to share with you every time you pray for your superior you have access to their heart no matter how godless they are practice this and watch wonders that happen every time you pray for your superiors god grants you access to their heart oh that stupid boss stupid stupid man he removed ten thousand from my salary god is hearing you now you would think you will win because it's true that he removed that there is something about authority that even god respects he says pray that we may lead a peaceable and quiet life in godliness and honesty verse 3 for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior uh-huh who will have all men to be what be saved we need to pray and intercede do you know hold on do you know the decadence in society is because there are many people who are not saved are we together step into a village a community where there is a there is a spread of unbelievers there's only one church in that city only one pastor who is not even sure he's born again let me tell you hell will prevail over that city do you know why because there is no spiritual resistance nobody is saved children are in occult from three years four years five years you see them telling you stories that will make you not sleep you know why because god does not have envoys within those a territory it matters that god finds a people it is in the multitude of men that the king's honor lies when god does not have men in a city it affects the growth of that place there are cities in the world there are cities in nigeria where god has very little men and we know what happens to the cause of the kingdom within those territories there is darkness there is oppression and all kinds of things and then he says that god will have all men to what not only be saved comma but to come into the knowledge of the truth because there are people who are saved but ignorance can keep a society are you seeing how we dominate you step into a society and you see poor people everywhere the highest person has just one house with mud and you are looking and say lord there is there are levels of truth that we do not know the average family within that territory lasts only five years all the children are armed robbers by 10 the ladies marry by 12 not because they want to marry once she's 11 11 and a half she's pregnant are we together and all of a sudden you find out that there's disobedience stealing smoking drinking all kinds of decadence the bible says that god wants men to come into the knowledge of the truth an irresponsible man who cannot take care of his family and you are within that territory the bible says you can begin to dominate over that territory it's a lost art that we don't know in church again to pray over territories until we shift the climate in that territory and begin to cause things to happen read the world revival read revivals that have passed there were men who prayed non-stop for 100 years for certain things to happen some of us our mother started praying since we were born now you are 20 years you wanted to get into something that, that you didn't like that climate there was already a build up a spiritual fortification we do not pray over environments we do not pray over territories we do not intercede that god will step in and say lord invade zaria have you noticed the developments that have been happening in zaria in recent times there used to be old buildings everywhere because you see a city assumes the shape of the spirit that controls it yes the economy of a city the 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 level of civilization in that city is a reflection of the controlling powers is one of the ways you know that a city is under oppression there are many of us like that you enter your city you see red zings everywhere uncompleted buildings everywhere those traits are symbols they are signs they are tokens they are representations of controlling powers over cities and the bible says when we want to begin to liberate cities not give me tea not give me bread 
I'm teaching you the prophetic and intercessory dimension of prayer where you begin to travel until you shift away the spiritual climate of territories for many years and it's still happening in Zaria men and women Zaria Zaria is like a woman that has been pregnated with the prayers of the saints. Zaria is full of the history of moves after moves of men and women who have prayed. Some of them did not even know what was leading them. Every night, every day in Zaria, there is always something happening. Somebody is praying somewhere in your room, at the back of one fence, somewhere under a tree, prayer. Doesn't matter the location. And gradually, you begin to see now there is peace that we can be happy i mean look at this covering a road a main road like this in a city like zaria and nobody comes to oppress you those of you who have stayed long in this city knows that you know that these things were not like that ah that people can shake their hands that's what happens when people legislate one of the chiefest way for dominion is prayers please i don't know how to make you believe this there's no such thing as i'm not called into that ministry if you are called to reign the first symbol of your legislature is the ability to pray not just for your needs but to be supplied the burden of a territory to pray until the purposes of god are located over that territory comes to pass do you know why prayer meetings have the lowest turnout in many churches it's an attack and sadly many pastors many so people don't like to pray it's a lie with all humility i think one of the largest gatherings after koinonia in terms of the the prayers here in koinonia is the tuesday prayer meeting you see people rushing happy to pray you know why there is a spirit of prayer and supplication is more than desire you don't pray just using desire you may start with desire I've taught you consistency draws the spirit responsible to you every time you are doing a thing consistently because you have your own human will are we together you can take alcohol willingly it may not be by the influence of a spirit it doesn't mean you you are an alcoholic no but by the time you are taking gouda every day one week two weeks the spirit of drunkenness is drawn through your consistency that's how prayer is most people want to receive the impartation of prayer before they pray let me give you a big secret your consistency you are always going behind that fence every night one hour two hours you go back you carry your small rechargeable one hour two hours one day something will happen to you i guarantee you you will stand there and be praying and the heavens will open you will check your time and see that it's five o'clock events begin to launch in your life one day you go to prayer and then you see somebody come to join you too you see this is how ministry starts i really feel and i don't say this in a condemning way i feel sorry for people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i mean i mean you two you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time 
can you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory and you snore your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i changed this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look God is the God of all flesh. The, the curtain has been torn, uh, you know, left and right. There's no priest again, no mediator. And, and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage. We come up and stand bragging, making our voices husky. And God is here right now. And uh, you're about to see what will happen here. And at the end, and you know, members are very dangerous people. They note everything you say. You said the power of God will move, so they are waiting. At the end of it you try and say you people did not fast and then all these things and you say look this guy is it that you cannot play this keyboard because they think it's a charm clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard they are they are, they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall and usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down say you stand up why do we do this listen power is real pay the price through prayer pay the price through prayer write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion number one prayer is responsible for building your discernment your growth and giving you direction prayer do you know i have discovered that over 60 percent i'll repeat what i just said but listen over 60 percent of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction direction what to do where to go lord should i be in zaria now or should i leave lord is this house your will for me or not if the issue of direction is sorted out many people will not be where they are prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody is rising nobody is succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school oh it's not old school 
no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that God is in what you are doing please I beg you in the name of Jesus pay it to marry pay it I think I, I God gave me a brain I feel like having 11 children you better pray you better pray pray don't let carnality drive us we live i'm very serious carnality has destroyed many people we don't seek god for direction we seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired we now run and say god why didn't you stop me and god said me no i gave you a will i've already said let them have dominion if you return back to me prayer is a sign of humility it's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated prayer is a great sign of humility imagine that you make somebody maybe a director in your company and he never comes to your office to ask for questions never comes you are telling him if there's any confusion please come to me you call him after two weeks is there any problem? no 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 boss I'm, I'm okay i mean you just taught me and then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing and say why didn't you come say boss i've told you shabby you say if i need i will come there you are destroying that man's company and your pride prayerlessness is pride though it's not just sin it's pride will i be able to live my life without prayer leading a ministry like this you know many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication are we together when you know that let me tell you the truth ask those who are close to me i pray to get topics it doesn't mean i don't plan but i sit down and i pray lord please speak to me speak to me speak to me the goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar calendar events the goal is to find out make sure what you are saying is what the spirit is saying because when you say what god is not saying he cannot back you remember in the book of ezekiel is wherever the spirit goes that the cherubims follow you see that don't just come and bring nonsense and want god to back you god is not a house boy we must respect him to prayer if you are here and you have never joined the prayer department even if it's for once for prayer why don't you make it this tuesday apostle i don't feel like praying that's why you should know your life is under attack so one way is to go where there is a family of believers and catch the fire say in the name of jesus i receive grace to return back to the place of consistent prayer how consistent is your prayer every day how many days every day we don't pray once a week we may take out serious time once a week we pray every day don't let some of this with all due respect some of these western jargons that has destroyed us you are in africa find out the history of africa the person who is a prayer warrior is still struggling to stand on his two legs you that you are not doing anything now you want a free job in one year free wife twins what, what kind of demand in this world oh, come on pray take charge of climate you get up in the morning you are happy you are going to take a serious trip you are hearing that people are dying on the road it's not to plant fear you don't you don't send any prophecy into your morning carelessness here and there we live our lives and we are victims of circumstances we must return to the place of prayer what of families that used to pray before and god promoted them a little no prayer again daddy it's time to pray for you you are, you are stupid if you come here again don't you know that i'm now the director see that see let me tell you any promotion and any lifting that steals your prayer life has affected you you better go back to god and create a system around your prayer truth be told there are some of us that may not have all that convenience to pray in the morning but you must find a time personally i'm a i'm a night person I have caught this mystery of night night prayers night silence concentration discernment fewer calls oh god fire 
in my life fire in koinonia fire upon my enemies it's not our prayer life it's my prayer life my prayer life do you pray jesus prayed as the son of god as the son of god he didn't pray sometimes the bible say while it is early in the morning what will it see let me teach you please if you belong to any group here or any church or any fellowship talk to your people about prayer this is not just some 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 secret allocated to a pentecostal ministry if you don't pray you will be weak you will never be able to birth anything serious believe me you see something with satan when you don't pray he won't attack you yet satan is not a fool once he attacks you and the fire gets too hot you will run back and ask for forgiveness and start praying so he leaves you no prayer but you are still moving forward and then you laugh at those who are praying ah so far ahead and he leaves you it's like a meter you keep going down down there is a level you go down he will just close you there first now that he has closed you that's when you see that in one week everything just goes haywire in your life are we together one week couples getting married they plan they are praying praying the moment they get married they throw god away finally our fears have been resolved and the devil says i'm coming he left jesus for a season jesus for a season came back again through peter jesus said i see you get lost came back through Judas. jesus said okay i allow you the hidden wisdom of god that paul saw please we must pray every church service must have a section allocated for prayer no matter how small i don't care whether it is a it is a uh, a bible study session is whatever it is a prayer should be part and parcel of any serious church service for step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days why do we pray we pray to exercise spiritual influence over territories why do we pray as a system of dominion to exercise spiritual influence your church will never grow if you don't pray your church will never grow just because you are anointed no there are many anointed people who never experience growth you need to pray why because a great door and an effectual has been opened but many adversaries satan will try to paint pictures about you that discredits you before those who need your grace you must pray satan will veil the eyes of people to identify you you must pray don't assume pray it's better for there to be a prayer team and a worship team and no excellence in the church is very bad but at least it's better to have a prayer team and a worship team they are the two areas of attack in any church when satan wants to bring down a church listen there are two departments other departments are important don't get me wrong but he infiltrates their prayer team he infiltrates the place of psalmistry where the incense of worship is rising when satan cripples the worship team through bitterness offense are we together name it prayer people pride arrogance me too i am a i am a i i, I now have one small fellowship so don't talk to me anyhow if you are not giving me prayer to lead i'm not coming pride that's how it begins to bend We regulate the spiritual climate over territories through prayer. I shared with us, I think it was last week, of the vision that I saw of someone. I saw somebody fetching something on his hand. Like, you know how you fetch chaff and just blew it like this. And then I started seeing like sicknesses coming on people. We prayed last week here. 
help me. See that? I saw it. Listen, if you don't pray, things will be happening above you. You will never know. And you will sit down. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Victory belongs to him. like you to blast in the spirit just just shake up your spirit shake it take it about about that let get the get the brass but about a toast of ya man brag a toast show the dead to toast we are men and women of dominion two prayers sakata bashka da baranta siya e kretos ke te retos we take charge of our climate we take charge of our territories we stay the hands of evil Come on, pray, pray, believers. Shake of every evil, shake of every plot, shake of every agenda. In the name of Jesus. Let me believe us. Let me teach you something. The moment you sense your climate, the moment you sense a presence within your climate, the moment you are lying down in the night and you are sensing like there's someone else in this room, verify by blasting in tongues. Don't ask questions. Shabos katara tosia. Rekete kashariata kata. Help that lady, please. No matter what time of the night, whether it is raining or there is sun or moon, hallelujah. Hold on. How about dreams? Some bad dreams are not from demons. They are a sign. They are the angels trying to tell you something is wrong. Wake up, wake up. The spirit is willing. This body, you have drunk it with food. You have drunk it with carnality. No capacity to stand up and legislate.
hallelujah hallelujah you're going to sit down shortly but listen to me if you don't have an allocation of special times to deal with spiritual issues in your life you are not growing you are not a spiritual person please hear me by god's grace and i say it with all humility i think with all humility i'll be one of the busiest persons in this place i travel all the time i don't pray at the same rate every day but you must allocate time time where if you if need be you switch your phone if you can keep it on keep it on but pray all this issue of i have a program somewhere i have a wedding somewhere is it not when you are alive i'm not talking of praying as a result of fear you are a king there is a scepter on your hand let them remember this word let them if you must sanitize your environment it is up to you fathers teach your children how to pray not just how to go to school teach them how to pray when you are praying carry them don't say they are small they are sleepy that's why we thank god for these our little ones if they sleep let them sleep while prayer is going hear me samuel was lying down close to the ark that's why he had the voice of god you don't hear the voice of god everywhere he said above the mercy seat below the cherubims there i will meet with you and i will relate with you intimately please sit down why do we pray prayer gives you the access to the heart of god and the heart of men let me teach you dominion why do we pray it gives you access hear me there are hardened men in our world who will never give you access to their heart there are wicked men who are holding what belongs to you they will never release it until god gives you their heart he said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously that was the song of miriam that the horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea don't sit down and wait and, and allow people to waste your time and talk nonsense a lecturer somewhere is refusing to let you go you have been begging he's not listening he's saying bring this bring that or come and meet me somewhere you are saying sir let me move it's because you don't understand dominion all right sir i've heard you Shatters carry your course uh, your your course form put it on the ground blast in tongues and declare i may be your student in the physical but i'm a king in the spirit i decree and declare you must let me go massage kotabaya sign chapter 3 oh regete katakata the next day you walk to the office good afternoon sir hey uh, you again well, well, well as a signing you are seeing the scepter is on your hands listen you are not the first to go through that problem if you don't know how to bail yourself out you can die in that problem and god is still on the throne there are few people who have experienced the victory that prayer brings people have experienced victories impartation prophetic words but that you prayed and on the hand of things to walk in your favor if that happens you will not backslide in prayer again some of us by the grace of god and with all humility we have been in places that only prayer could bring us out where you pray and you don't just pray alone you pray and tell the person what to say in the physical and you come out and you wait for that word look at how many of our parents not moving forward you are asking them what is wrong they say eh, you are seeing somebody was 50 years they fired an arrow his leg is not working and now your father is about to be 50 and all of you in the family are watching and laughing watching and laughing you don't watch and laugh i've shared with you my story my father's younger brother died like a chicken my father's elder brother died like a chicken i have seen my mother's obituary in the spirit i stopped it come on now refuse to allow things just move around in your life 
you have you have a dream and you are already seeing them sack five people in your family you get up and keep the dream in your stomach until the day they sack them then you come as a fake prophet and say i saw it what did you do about it listen prophets cried in the bible when things happen and they did not see they said lord why did you hide this from me god hid things from prophets if he wanted it to happen because he knew if they saw it they would stop it do you know consistent prayer will shake certain spirits out of you by themselves they are lying down there quiet and you are being deceived that oh don't worry you no spirit can find expression in your life and they are quiet there you continue praying every day sometimes when you are praying you sense and then you calm down continue a day will come have you not seen people praying by themselves they get to a level where that spirit can no longer stay the fire becomes too hot it must jump out of them that's what is happening to some of you now and i command those devils i speak standing by this authority i invoke the power of my secret place and i decree and declare that if there be any spirit in this place by the god of heaven i curse them now i curse their operation i curse them now i curse their operation If you let the devil he will kill you i tell you this thing the bible says resist the devil resist the devil it didn't say discourse it didn't say keep watching things happen no favor every door has closed over you you are seeing that is an attack will you wait until you die or will you pray and force the gates to open Can we pray one minute a favor provoking prayer and say I command the gates of favor open? The way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is by passing decrees, the power of words. Write it down. Kings reign by passing decrees. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. Media help us please. We have to conserve time because I want us to pray. Kings reign by passing decrees. The same way in the National House of Assembly. They sit down and legislate. It passes first reading, second reading and they pass it into law. Whoever violates that law has offended the federal government where the word of a king is there is what that means words if you are not a king your words don't have power the power is only for kings when they speak when you are royalty your words are not ordinary where the word of a king is there is power if you are not a king there is no power where the word of a king is Passing decree is not just prayer. Passing decree is commanding realities to be established in the spirit. That I decree and declare that nobody, nobody becomes a victim of so 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 and so in this family. That's a decree. Elijah passed a decree. There will be no rain. I make it so. Let me tell you something. Listen. The diviners and the witches in our villages, this is how they program the destiny of men. They invoke decrees. Nobody crosses 25 in this family. Even when they die, the decree is still in force until someone else who has authority and understanding comes and vetoes that decree. There must always be a ruling statement in the atmosphere. If you don't like the one over you change it change it change it growing up I didn't see very successful people 
from my paternal side there were not many successful people and the thing was like a curse able-bodied men but they never really become anything serious ah, the list of the list is and i said no way oh no way no way no way no way where the word of a king is there is power what have you said about your life or what have you allowed to be said about your life it matters who you say amen to it matters what you say amen to don't listen to any kind of nonsense and say amen somebody looks at you and say all of you are failures you don't have to confront them but reject it immediately in your spirit i am not a failure i am not no 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 i reject it ah marriage is now you see the way it is i'm only praying for you i hope you will like your marriage you may not confront the person because you rebuke an elder not in public but you keep quiet in your heart no way mine is heaven on earth i make that choice decrease kings reign by decrease let me show you something isaiah 43 verse 26 isaiah 43 verse 26 while the media is trying to give us that i want you to write this down hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 the bible says god upholds all things by the word of his power even god uphold, upholds the universe read with me the b part please from let us everybody is projected one to read let us plead together uh-huh go ahead declare thou that what so how are you justified in the spirit you declare if you say i am free god says satan you had him he's done that's why the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so not wish so let the unemployed who want jobs say so not wish so when confession is made with understanding it is powerful it no longer becomes vain babbling my life is surrounded by words i have built a circumference around my life with words like mysteries number three sit down the third way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is through creativity and innovation now listen carefully i'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here exodus 35 please give us 31 to 33 exodus 35 many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual this is talking about a man we call in the bible a popular scripture a man called bezalel are we together the tabernacle was about to be constructed and God had to move upon a man called Bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent, he will innovate. Our world today, especially the church, we are bankrupt of creativity. That's why we are not. Creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule. Google, Apple, Amazon. Are we together? All these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity. You will never, never be great in life if you rule alone. Your ideas must rule with you. Your seeds must rule with you. You are too small to command dominion alone. You must spread your seeds. Today, Zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we're reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to de to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrease are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to work in gold and in silver and in brass last verse 
and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to first your physical offspring but much more than that that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor god and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why i hate laziness laziness is anti-dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like i said we fast just like i said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds versace gucci right angela galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together bishop david oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seeds somebody says i read his book and i've been changed parents are your children are your seeds rising to take over he said his seed shall be mighty upon the earth psalms 112 his seed shall be mighty his seed not have a mighty name a big name is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's, it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses where are the conglomerates where are the value adding structures we almost don't have it in church we sit around and we brag and we're happy that's why i encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence i've said it like a national anthem i will not pastor weak people i'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter no that's why i'm a friend to politicians that's why i'm a friend to kings you don't have to be corrupted by them but you can stand i believe in influence are we together is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing wayek because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed yes when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask ali kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply i think eight hours by the number of workers i have that's how many hours i have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime 
God is a God of transference. At a point in your life, your, you should be able to earn the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else. A mother who has five children, none of them can cook. That's a bad testimony for a mother. A father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances, has never taught them on marriage, has never mentored them on being a man, just leaves them to chance. That's why many young people are not successful. You know why? There is no transference. No transference. In Jewish days, fathers worked with their sons. When they became teenagers, they said, hey, settle down. Let me teach you how to be a man. You don't guess it. I teach you. Manhood is responsibility. This, oh yeah, I allocate a farm for you. Go and work. But right now, as a student, if you are doing any other thing, they say, don't do any other thing, no, settle down school. But you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say you're a very nice person. You see how we make people lazy. You see an able-bodied young man, a Christian, tongue talker, comes to stand in front of your house and say, I've not eaten. There are grasses everywhere. Grasses everywhere. Why don't you sit down and say, let me see how I can buy a machine and then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me, I'm having lectures. Your seed is ruling. Listen, I want you to be seed conscious. Most of us, all we know about seed is money. Your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence. It's your seed. It doesn't have to be human. Technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds. So you write a book. You sit down and you say, look, the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem. I think there is something that the people within SS2 to maybe 100 level do not understand. You come up with a book. You release it. That's your seed. That's dominion. Are we together? When you open a restaurant and I come and I'm eating, when I'm eating your food, that's dominion. Because it came from you. A product of your creativity. Listen. Write it down. I will never be lazy again in my life. This, this cultural massage that is given to adults. That makes adults feel like children. An able-bodied young man gets up. 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, he's snoring around the bed. Say, don't worry, just leave him. He's a last born. Very soon, that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the guts to go and tell his parents he wants to marry. See, this is, I don't have a problem. This is why sometimes you see, and I'm being honest, I know their parents here. This is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say, I want to marry, and the parents say, Oga, oh go and sit down first. They get angry and say, You are stopping my destiny. But let's be sincere. Are you going to eat your fingers? Are you going to eat your fingers? Responsibility. Your seed. Apostle, I don't have a job. What did you read? Um, I read physics education. And you don't have a job? Why don't you open an extramoral center? Only five courses. Maths, physics, English. Uh, what was the fourth one? Chemistry and biology. For them, whatever it is you add. Five of them. That's the only thing I'm doing. And you mentor those people. You charge one person 10,000, you, you trust God and pray and have 50 to 100 students. Will you beg for bread again? We want something for nothing. This laziness in Africa is a cost. Parents, please, I challenge you. Any of your child that is mature enough, tell him from today, listen, you are not just going to be getting free money after every month. Mommy, I need money. The next time I see grass in this house, there's no salary for you. It looks harsh, but you have to train them. Even if your children are prosperous, they must be disciplined. Many lazy people will not like what I've said, but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people. There is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity. Don't ever say there is nothing I have to do. You can cook. Who is eating your food? You can make donuts. Start in your room. Don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of 900,000. Who do you think will give you the money? Start in your room. There are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity. Very soon, they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen. Dominion.
they start exporting it. We're about rounding up, but lay your hands on your head and pray in one minute. Lord, everything you have buried within me that I'm to dominate with that seed, I prophesy it must come out. I command the books to come out. I command the programs to come up. Are you praying, please? Don't let the devil say you will not succeed. Do it and fail, but prophesy. Let the catering school come out in the name of Jesus. Let the exercise books come out in the name of Jesus. Let the award-winning tailoring um, um, outfit come out. Let the extra moral center come out. Let the business come out. Let the bank come out. Let the investment house come out. Hallelujah. Please sit down. I want you to know after today, I want you to go and sit down. Please. Especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything. Don't just pray and say, God, when will you wipe my tears? That's a foolish prayer. Go and sit down. Find a good friend and sit down. And say, no, we have to do something. We are, Do it and fail. Failure does not kill. Do it. How much do you have? 100,000, 300,000. Let's have an agreement and sit down. At least you have 500, I have 500. He can buy one golf. We can buy a golf and start. Put it on the road. It's bringing 10 to 20,000 every week. We are starting. All this laziness around that people just do and say, I'm a king. You are not a king. Dominion through creativity. In fact, there is a message like that. You can get it after the, after the service. Some of you plot. And your plotting is unusually exceptional. Why don't you package it? Why don't you package it? Some of you sing. Worship team. Some of you are looking at me. God is telling you it's time. There are some of you. There is a day worship team will produce the album. But start writing songs. Write songs. How many songs have you written? Two. When will you write the rest? God is helping me. You are not serious. You are absolutely not serious. Are you not seeing in the body of Christ now? People are tapping into their innate creativity. I'm not only a man of God. I'm many other things. I'm a businessman. I'm a leader over people. I'm a mentor to people. Everything God put in me will find expression. There are books that will be written. There are many other things that will be done. Dominion. Dominion. Covenant University. Landmark University. Dominion Publishing House. One time I was watching Dr. Miles Munro's videos and he carried six books and he hid them. And he said, if there was no Dr. Miles Munro, there will be no rediscovery of the kingdom. There will be no spirit of leadership. Think how many corporations prosper today. The world is waiting for yours. Stop waiting on God. Be serious. Some of you started writing one book. God inspired it. You wrote one page and you just left it. Be serious. Why don't you get a recorder? Ah, I'm a public speaker. Start speaking. Don't wait until there are people. Speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself. God will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained. Are we together? There is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity. There is a dimension of dominion. The Ali Kodangotes and the, the, the Oprah Winfrey's and the Bill Gates and even in the body of Christ, Great men like the Papa Deboyes, the Wisdom Center. Think how many things have come out of people. You were never, the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within. To draw from within. Not just to complete a number of courses. Are we together now? Our educational system, we salute it, but it's limited in many ways. And one of it is in supplying, stimulating creativity. You must reinvent yourself. There is no such thing as being educated. You are learning or you are out. Don't say I'm educated. You are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out. Make up your mind today. 
that I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are on common mentors in every area in this house whether it is in business whether it is in finance whether it is in leadership koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas you have not identified them because you are not passionate pursuit is proof of passion you must find out and search who can help me i, I have a passion for leadership who can help me not to sit and say when will they organize something to help us now it will never happen we like free things we are careless and callous and you know we have to challenge ourselves it is a secret of poverty secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen i know abba is it not the god of koinonia i know one day he will visit me you can dance all your life and remain the way you are fall down under the anointing roll up and down and get up you have commanded dominion realities are ready to be released in the spirit but there is no creativity no innovation next week is miracle service is it oh dear i would have added one more part it's too late there are two more things i have to talk about there is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding let me just state them quickly maybe another time we'll do a recap i really apologize wisdom and understanding that's the next point part of the ministry of the dominion mandate we dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding is a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least proverbs chapter 8 we're out of time but please just um bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done let's read verse 1 media please take note verse 1 and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 then we're reading verse 22 to 23 then we're reading verse 35 and 36 i'll help you in case you've forgotten let's start verse 1 then we are going to verse 15, 16, 17. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? So these are spirits, these are personalities, these are not just attributes that men have. Are we together? 15 now to 17. Then we are going 22 to 24. Verse 15 says, okay, by me kings reign, and princes decree what? Justice. 16. By me, princes rule. So how do you rule? Wisdom, understanding. And nobles, even the judges of all the earth. There's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding. 17. I love them that love me. And those who seek me, what? You can seek wisdom later and not find it. Because it takes time. 22 to 24 the lord possessed me yeah 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 are you a christian the lord possessed me what in the beginning of his way before the works of old 23 i was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was that means before this earth concept came I was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth 24 when there were no depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding in the water i wish that we had more time we would have read everything that was there it was it was i mean it, it was 
all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me help me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death they have chosen to be defeated in life anyone who hates wisdom anyone who hates understanding is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me all they who hate me love death wisdom and understanding there is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom insight into the systems of god and having the fortitude the faculty the comprehension the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth oppressed through wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you stay the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you 
what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of God was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of God and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song i'll be singing forever the Lord holy is the Lord listen everybody say dominion through power say it again dominion through power many of you have received strong impartations in koinonia but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them either because you think you are not a man of god so when someone is sick you try my number it doesn't work you try a jimmy's number any of the heads of department and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders and then you now call sir can you pray for me one day you need to be angry and let today be that day that you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong i always have someone oppress me and he said no i i have been anointed in koinonia I, I, there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of Jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick I say give me your hands I lay my hands on them I say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies I laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrees you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we're outside church we're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world then the manifestation of wisdom and understanding wisdom is justified by her children the strange results in your life that become testaments to the fact that you are a custodian of keys given to you by the wisdom of God and finally dominion by manifesting the raw power of the Holy Ghost I hail you most high. lift your hands everybody inside and outside I truly hail you most high. 
God is present in this place mighty and God is going to be fishing out people and families hear me some of you will stand in for your family every yoke of darkness every curse every the power of God is already moving every curse outside I want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire. Hallelujah. At the count of three. Hear me. Inside and outside. At the count of three. With all your heart. You're going to shout Jesus. Hear me. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now holy spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things i give you all the glory at the count of three hear me i confront gates i confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the holy ghost you will bow at the count of three one Two, three, shout Jesus. That devil of darkness, come out. Let God's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every act of witchcraft, every act of divination, every act of sorcery, let the fire fall. I expose every power of darkness right now, right now, right now. Outside, outside, there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way. Bring them out. Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord this night they will scatter hallelujah lift up your hands again 
outside hallelujah hear me those of you outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus god is not done with you please pick them and bring them many of it will be a mass deliverance are you hearing me just those outside right now at the count of three one two three is the name above all names yokes are breaking spells are breaking yokes are breaking yokes are breaking It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, shake it, 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 it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand where in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just leaving. Leaving. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 
Go. Come out. Come out. Come out. And return no more. Come out. Come out. Come out. And return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. There's fire upon every devil. Fire. Shekete. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. There's no hiding place. Listen. As this is happening to you, I want you to know that this is happening in your family too. Are you hearing me? This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah. Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns. This is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulsa. If you have ulsa, lift your hands. Anybody. Ulsa. Please. You're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You are a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Uh -uh, not where you are coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's kola knot in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, altars. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle, um, maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies. The Lord is showing me. Who is Hanatu? Hanatu. Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now. Don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Han You. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness spell and yokes of bondage 
let her family go now in the name of Jesus Christ God is not just delivering the family God is anointing this young man God will do mighty things take the anointing you will become a mighty man of God mighty man of God hallelujah sister this lady come please quickly open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain i'm hearing the name grace look at me who is grace i'm hearing a name grace your friend your church member we need to pray for grace because death wants to take her life are you hearing me grace that's i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is helping me but then the lord is going to visit you in three things see listen to me number one i the lord always shows me these things because i'm seeing marital issue are you married, no, sir. Are you married? do you know me have i met with you the lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside are you hearing me but i'm seeing shadow that's the only thing i'm seeing as your face in the spirit there is no form just shadow but the lord is going to set you free number two who is doing a building project me. a building did you tell me this is the second thing god is going to do supernatural grace to complete the building project are you listening to me number three god is blessing you in the area of business i'm hearing business who does business you sure don't just say yes or are you very sure shoes and bags. okay you are going to see an escalation in your business three th these three things hold my hands father that yoke of bondage i break her free from it right now ah what is this thing that i'm seeing again do you know what i'm seeing i'm not seeing a woman i'm seeing a man See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Petrus, your son name is Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Please let's hurry up. Your son name is Petrus. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there some of you feel like water in your ears just put your hands please as you're receiving miracles some of you i'm not mentioning your case just walk out bishop stan and pastor jakes are outside take the courage to walk out now go and drop your testimony hallelujah we're going to take one or two of them the ministers are at the back hallelujah they are standing even if the miracle has started they'll perfect it look at me come see brother come where were you sitting outside at the back hold on what happened to you i was sitting down outside so i've been coming here for like very well but i've not felt anything so i opened up my heart and what happened what happened that's the question for you vibrating my heart. see the lord jesus because even now god has not finished one of the things god is calling you it will be a time of preparation but god is calling you you're going to be a great teacher of the word are you hearing me you will teach the word very prophetically look at my eyes just look at my eyes spirit of revelation my god i pray the eye is the light of the body let something happen to this brother let there be a straight line from genesis to revelation i impart upon you just look at my eyes you're receiving a mighty impartation
you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go outside. God is visiting people. I'm seeing some, someone healed. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast is getting healed right now. Right now. The moment it is your case, celebrate God. Check it and go out. Celebrate it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is a outside. A lady is healed. Lump in the breast. Your right breast. Outside. There's healing going on right now. A lump in the breast. Outside. A lady is being healed. Lump in the breast is going. Hallelujah. Now, blood disease. Blood disease. I want to pray for blood disease. Whether hepatitis, hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now. Whether it is hepatitis, HIV, aside from genotypes, we'll pray for genotypes differently. Hallelujah. But any other blood disease, please lift your hands quickly. Quickly, please lift your hands. Want to rebuke that devil. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're lifting your hands, lift it because the power of God will come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, blood disease be healed. Be healed right now. Inside and outside, be healed. HIV virus die now in the name of Jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir, um, this lady had been suffering from asthma a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. Shout. praise the lord Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, as more miracles are happening, don't just come out here to testify, please. Now, I want to pray for a woman. You came, you have pains. It's, it's an elderly woman. Something, I don't know if it's a growth or something. Please, who is that? Please and please, let's save time. God is healing people right now. And then I'm seeing, watch this, this part, you're feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall. Your bone here, come out. You're a lady. You're a lady. God is showing me. The lady is holding a baby. This is what I'm seeing. You are holding a baby. Whether it's your child. Who is that, please? Holding a baby, yo. You are holding a baby. Where is the baby? Was she holding a baby? Because, come. Open the floodgates of heaven. Where is, where is the pain? This is the baby. This is a baby. Come, madam. You will be healed right now. Look at me. You, you can see her limping. Who can see her limping? Can you see her limping? Can you see her limping? Madam, hold my hands. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Lay your hands on her. Which of them? Which of them? Where's the pain? What happened? Just like that. That devil will leave you right now. Because there is a name. Lord Jesus, thank you. Amen. Come. March your legs. Go ahead. Go ahead. March. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Is there any pain? Are you feeling any pain? Just a little. Go ahead. Just march in the name of Jesus Christ. Now check it. Walk. Walk and come. Walk and come. Jump. Look at. Look at this. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Open the heavens. Let it rain. Yeah. 
the Lord is ministering to me. Just leave her. Five months, you are a lady here. You have not seen your period for five months. Five months, you have not seen your period. You've shared it with a few friends. Right now, this night, this night, I know there are lady ushers, they will help you. Hallelujah. All kinds of menstrual issues, it will disappear. It will disappear right now. Open the floor gates of heaven. As soon as I pray for you, take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now, that yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please, can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes, is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. This brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. He actually had ulcer and it translated into asthma. Hallelujah. And while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here and it leads to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like if you have as uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest, chest pain. Hallelujah. But now I'm not feeling anything, it's just as cool as breathe, as breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out, any problem, no celebrate problem. Jesus. Hallelujah. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache, please check yourself. My grain headache, my grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache, thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning, your heart area here, your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning, this thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart, just, just this. You cannot even sleep on that side because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady, you're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floor gates. Mama, do, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is a uh, official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Make it out, Mama. Her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is C. The devil once is supposed to be from my head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now. She will, she's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please, we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are gone. Yes. The pains are gone. Yes. Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jakes are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone. Pain, gone. Come up. Tell her to come up and march. It's gone. It's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the floodgates? 
gates of heaven Let it rain Let it rain Hold on How does she feel? Is, this still, is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain Mama, let's match Can you dance? Play any song for her Look at, look at Somebody who could not stand well What kind of song do they sing? You people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one Alsa song. Annie, give us one Alsa song. Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus. outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, repain. It's my heart. Each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. Well, this moment, while I was standing right here, when this woman just received her healing, I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you are healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please, don't, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? Any pain? I'm still waiting for the lady. Someone, the, I think, the, did I say left or right now? Breast lump. Breast lump is gone. It's gone. Check it. Don't, don't wait. Check, check and go outside. Pastor Jax is there. They are busy verifying people's cases. Inside or outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, um, this is very interesting. There's a family here that has been suffering delay. And God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way. Wait, 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 wait. Listen. The power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is what the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks, sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, 
the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit. It's a sign that this is what God is doing. Please, let's continue before the person comes out. You will come out, certainly. This is the word of the Lord. Now, I'm seeing a baby that is sick. You came with a baby that is sick. Please, who is the person? The baby cries in the night. Please, hurry up quickly. Because Pastor Jax will still come up here and Bishop Stan. Ah, whatever mountain will not, has not answered to it will answer to you this night. Who is this? This is the baby that is sick. What's wrong with her? Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003, she was sick, so we took her to the hospital and we transfused her. After them, she was. One more person again, this same experience for one more person outside. One more person outside is going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delay in families. The power of God will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed. Let's listen. They transfused her and after... What did they say is wrong with her? The doctor confirmed that she has HIV. With the transfusion of blood, she has HIV. That's what the doctor confirmed. At what it's HIV positive that devil is a liar come my dear look at me what's her name how can a girl bear the name favor and still have HIV you see how demonic Satan is the Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation a lady this is like Jabez but tonight like the prayer of Jabez he said oh that how would this bless me? Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. Go and test her. She's free. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? There's another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostle, this is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the, with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How, okay, how long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like two years. How long? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying. Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed. You feel a pain. In fact, there used to be like a growth. Check it, it has disappeared. Check it right now, it has disappeared. Check it, it has disappeared. Check it. God is doing mighty miracles. Check it, it has disappeared. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing a woman. There are objects that move in your body. Serious objects. It moves sometimes to your legs. Sometimes to your chest. Hallelujah. 
right now as I pray you are going to be free and you find out that you are free you are feeling light please when that happens to you go down the ministers are seriously praying there father in the name of Jesus this demonic thing this demonic thing this demonic yoke of darkness let it leave your body right now right now right now right now come my sister What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said Grace, I was my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just mock you. They run away. They do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. So when we are talking about marriage, look at another miracles are happening like, I tell you there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's something was moving in movement her. in her body yes, exactly she's this is the person she movement she had an her. accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, sir. jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus You're free, completely free. Give Jesus a big hand. Sister, I'm going to pray. Look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Kalokura. Eh? Kalokura. Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm seeing? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing Chuck. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. If there is a woman here you've suffered barrenness or a man anything that you have not given but come out here quickly please quickly quickly bishop is still coming and jakes we have to hurry up there's a vigil that will happen here please come out quickly you you must be married though except if you are standing for somebody Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is lack of, lack of, 
children. You see the relevance of meetings like this? Listen to me. Who is standing for herself or for himself? For yourself. For yourself, come here, please. Quickly. Those who are standing for others, this way. For yourself. Look at me. Are you together? She's your wife. Oh, both of you are standing for yourself. Where's your husband? He traveled. I'm seeing a baby girl. Go and write it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. You will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. Ah, you're on his marriage. Why didn't you wait? The guy just said, okay. No, 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 no. Don't see, don't laugh. It doesn't mean you should do it anyway, but don't laugh. It's coming out. Look at me. You believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage, yeah? When when are you when is the wedding? Eh? Hold my hands. According to the time of life, I speak to you under the unction of the spirit. Before the end of this month, you will be in a very godly, serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God. Father of spirits, connect them. You are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Wow, mighty miracles again are happening. You too, you, for yourself, lay your hands on your stomach. I'm saying something else. What did the doctor say? PIV. What, what? PIV. Whatever that means. Well, we shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, PID. We'll pray, whatever it is. And you see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand. Some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abby? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and you will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of... Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you. And that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at sorry i this is bad viewers discretion i'm sorry don't feel bad we are disciplined people but just so that we we'll celebrate god check no hole look at this no hole i can't see any hole here there was your teeth was removed two teeth two teeth was removed who knows her who knows her is it true that the teeth was removed who is that yes yes it's, it's true you are sure of that Dockers. her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally. Give Jesus a big, Hallelujah. big hand, big hand, big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are standing for any, see, if you are standing for anybody, when you go back, send the person a text and say, I just stood in for you. Now, believe and receive. Are you hearing me? Send them a text. Don't let them roam around. You are here suffering to stand in for them. They are not connecting again. Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, and when Job prayed for his friends, God turned his own captivity. Job 42 verse 10 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Look at as many people. Lift your hands. 
some of you the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my God children the Bible says are a heritage from the Lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidence is that Jesus is alive right now I pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness if they don't have womb we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus return back rejoicing send them a text that they have been prayed for and let me tell you see listen hold on hold on there are some who take in but lose the child is that true lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in they take in one month two months they just wake up in the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you hallelujah pastor jakes bishop stan please come please come they'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes hallelujah i know that there are areas that they'll minister to you while that is happening pass the prayer request please this is a time for god to visit your case please as you are passing it be praying in tongues as you're passing it be praying in tongues say lord this is it my time has come if they didn't call you your prayer point will call your case now hallelujah god bless you sir pastor jake so just minister by the grace of god and then bishop stan sir please write your prayer request quickly trusting the Lord for and Lord communicates to me for some of you especially God will touch you hmm. God's going to be touching some of you especially what you've desired from him specifically so some of you God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life an unusual kind of anointing hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido fine tan gros tiki vantahi. Lingo su pratica tarebo usted. Randa kai. 
one of you the anointing will be so heavy on your leg heavy heavy they will literally have to carry you out of this place <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place blessing blessings god is blessing some people thank you holy ghost blessings god is blessing you Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let a reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. that person it's a is your pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having unusual stomach pains your pancreas i think pancreas should be in stomach right pancreas 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 that's why here pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having that problem right now i pray for you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i release healing let healing come to your body in the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us and I don't know there might be more than one um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream and when you are done eating that food you become heavy I don't mean physically spiritually let me clear this it's possible for God to do an impactation for you it's possible for God to do an impactation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus name go in the name of Jesus go thank you father I thank you in the name of Jesus you are free in the name of Jesus you are delivered in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you father I declare freedom freedom in the name of Jesus you are free in Jesus name thank you Jesus he will minister to you who dropped this picture 
What happened to the baby? Is dead? The baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as you are lifting up your hands, make sure that you are making a commitment. No sex before marriage. Don't let anybody deceive you. I'm saying it straight to the point. Hallelujah. No sex before marriage. No caressing. No, all this nonsense that people do. No. Don't, don't open up yourself for demons. You tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No, not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah i need to say this before i pray for you god is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with god and you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about. Stop it this night. Stop it this night. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness. And Father, this night I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community i declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus. And I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke, because there are some of you, it's not just you, all the ladies in your house, some you notice that you marry almost at age 40. No matter what you do, no matter how decent you are, you will never just get a faithful man. Some of you, is married men that keep chasing you. As young as you are, you can't get a godly brother. You are coming to church. You are serving in church. The brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker. And then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age. 
we will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repatote telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to be, this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues shake up Rakatata paka prokoto baladaba. Sechala brakata satali. Le kalumis ibrakata satala ba. Zebra di kodosh ina satala brakata shi. Eka kasatala bratisha. Zebra di na kalazumi na kafasha. Rapata shadole brate kalabush taba. Kesebro di kada kada bakata satala ba. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah. Father of all spirits, the great I am, Maida Subikro Lays in Amakata Sata, Liza Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetebaba, the one that released manna, Paul released manna from heaven, Chova, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request miracles visitations miracles visitation far above far above what they have written far above far above connection completion perfections in the name of jesus completions perfections in the name of jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation jehovah jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you lord bless your name jehovah in jesus name we pray it is done in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah we are a prosperous ministry are you hearing what i'm saying we are a prosperous ministry mysteriously prosperous by the hand of god i believe in prosperity are you hearing what i'm saying i believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty you cannot help the poor by being one of them are you hearing me and i want to pray for you please believe lift your hands see listen the irrefutable laws 
of prosperity remains tithing, kingdom investments, and your givings. They open the heaven and position you. And then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom, the blessings of God upon your hands, strength and long life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage everybody. Please bring out a seed. I can't pray for you for prosperity just like that. Please. Please. This, if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing, just keep your seat, please. This is not some. I won't help you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to help you. It's not just about saying receive. No. Please. God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please. Please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity, God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out a seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. No, no make some of you god is speaking to you right now some of you need to stand for your families honestly honestly see if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed it means we are fake something is wrong are you hearing me i tell you this this prosperity oil there is an oil it will come upon some of you in a fearful way please inside and outside i beg you if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me? Solomon, there was a sacrifice upon the altar. And Solomon said, Oh God, Oh God attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond and the bible says the glory the shekinah of god came and filled that room. i'm praying i'm praying see i tell you it 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 pains my heart it pains we want you the full gospel you must represent the kingdom in its entirety we don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money no are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray. My God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire. It will fall on many of you. Please help me. My God, I pray. The oil of prosperity. The power to get wealth. At the count of three. My God, let it fall mightily. Right now. One, two, three. Take it. 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 I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your seed. I give your seed a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty. 
we take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12. He said, thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God, you know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray, my God, I give your seed a voice and I instruct it. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return back to the owner. I prophesy under this apostolic unction, I speak to your seed. Go around the earth, gather your kind. Go around the earth, gather your kind. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call breakthroughs there are families that need major breakthroughs are you hearing me there are some of you your the way from the day they gave birth to you you have never celebrated entering a house that god gave your own family embarrassment after embarrassment every time they start a building project rain will wash it or something satanic will happen breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, Thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. Thou shalt break forth. Please receive it. Some of you need to call your loved ones and say, Look, a prayer was prayed. There are some houses that have been built. Ten years. Ten years is a cost. It's a cause, I'm telling you. There are some people, they are, they are lecturers, but they are still begging for money to feed. This, this is the yoke of bondage. There are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you, as you are looking at me now, you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family, as young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says, a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kodi State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night, this night, I speak, this night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across ABU. Are you hearing me? All tasks of darkness will be destroyed. See, this is why God put centers like this. To legislate on behalf of territories. The apostolic grace is not for making mouth. Is for taking charge is a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here 
and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer i want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible people are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next i pray for you see when the angel of death hear me when the angel of death came to goshen and egypt the angel of death killed everybody it's just that when he came he found out that some houses were already killed when he saw blood on their house he said these people already died and he passed by i pray that blood of sprinkling that blood he said when i see the blood Rabato Koparatata, not by accident, not by terrorism. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Every lecturer in APU and in all the institutions in this town. Because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers. The Lord is ministering to me. And I'm seeing that between now and December 4, I see four other professors going. But we stop it. We change it. In the name of Jesus. We stop it. We change it. We stop it. We change it. We stop it. He said the heaven of heavens the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord but the earth has he given now let me pray for you 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 have no covenant with death we are entering the ember months now hallelujah please see take seriously the things that happen here are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speak us that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to Lagos you travel to Kotono some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my Duguri Joss Bauchi come out of her now out out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence I declare that throughout this year I have no covenant 
with the spirit of death say death hear my voice I am an ambassador and in the name of Jesus the seal of the blood is upon me I am protected my family members are protected father in the name of Jesus I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore I pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah you've not given your heart to Jesus please remain standing everyone here please remain standing hallelujah you have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ this is a family this is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life the Bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away many of us have been struggling you've been struggling some of you are born again you've given your heart to the Lord truly but there are encumbrances pushing you away from God right now please everybody stand I know you've been standing please stand for one last time inside and outside let's honor God and let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen young and old rich or poor as you hear my voice the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you and he's going to tell you it is time the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart you've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing I don't care what you have done there is a home for you tonight as everybody begins to appreciate them I want you to leave your seat and come out right now everybody come out from outside God bless you outside sister brother don't sit back people are coming thank you Jesus thank you Jesus don't sit back don't wait for somebody to come please keep clapping koinonia no devil will stop you God bless you sir God bless you they are coming please appreciate them don't sit back there are a lot of you outside God is speaking to you brothers God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside don't let your friends stop you don't let your friends stop you keep coming keep coming thank God for the harvest keep coming keep coming hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you